Okay, atheism and militant atheism. Now, I recently made a video called Militant Atheism or Atheism is Dangerous. Now, I need to clarify a few things for you atheists. I understand on YouTube you guys have a thriving community in which you actively support each other and actively seek out Christians to attack them or to challenge them as you would call it. Um, and I'm certain this will get your attention and I'll get your responses accordingly. Okay. The difference between what I call militant atheist and an atheist. I have no problem with atheists. None whatsoever. If you don't want to believe in God, that's fine. You have a right to do that. I'll never deny you that privilege and right. Here's the problem. The militant atheist, on the other hand, feels that religious individuals don't have the rights to be involved in the public forum, to be represented on public land via their symbols of their faith, or to have any influence on their society as a whole. In other words, in a democracy they don't feel the religious individuals should have laws that reflect if there's a large religious element in the community that they shouldn't have laws that reflect their individual religious values. Not beliefs, but values. Now, that is what I call militant atheism. The difference is fairly significant. And simply being an atheist, well you know what, the standard atheist just doesn't think about religion. It just doesn't occur to them. They, it's not an issue they need to bring up. They don't make an issue of going out there and uh, questioning religion. If they want to talk about what people believe, that's fine. They can talk about what people believe. You can have a discussion about what people believe without attacking them. When you attack them, when you challenge their beliefs, that's where you go after them not to just simply learn what they believe and then decide for yourself if you disagree or agree, but you go out to prove them wrong. And that's where you get the whole line of you have to prove there's a God and all this other, other BS that they come up with. Um, that is militant atheism. In many ways it's really no different than evangelical Christians going out and trying to convert you by convincing you to follow God. Um, there's really no difference between the two mentalities. In many ways, they're no different than uh, um, uh, the people who did the Inquisition were, to be perfectly honest with you. Now, many atheists like to defend themselves. And these are some of the interesting methods they use to defend themselves against counter-arguments to insulate themselves. They like to argue that religion has been responsible for much of the evil in the world and all this stuff. And they bring up things like the Inquisition which actually they misrepresent, but it's still, they have some valid points, but they misrepresent it. Um, the Crusades, the same deal. They have some valid points, but they misrepresent it. Um, some of the issues that we take up to counter atheism is to point out that atheists have conducted crimes against religious individuals, large-scale massacres of religious individuals, it happened in communist Russia and communist China it still happens today the Vietnam in Vietnam they communists did it there now they say why you can't just put atheists equal to communists that's wrong but if you look at all the leaders of the communist movement and you look at the founders of the ideals of communism to a man they were all atheists and when they attacked the religious communities and started killing the religious people or controlling the religious people, they did it for the same kind of arguments that atheists use today to get the religion out of government or religion out of the public forum because religion is dangerous 
And in the case of communism, it is, because in religion, your authority, the highest authority isn't the government. And for these atheists that now run the country, that's dangerous to have somebody who doesn't follow the state as the prime authority. It's a valid argument, and they hate it. Um, that's one of the issues there. The issue ultimately between an atheist and a militant atheist is the militant atheists seek converts by going out and confronting religious individuals and make them try to defend their faith. They happen to occur in the school system. Um, if you've been through the school system, the public schools or the colleges, I assure you, you've had at least one or two professors who use their classroom as a form through which they can push their atheism upon their students. Something they would never allow for a religious person. They would never allow a Christian to use the public schools or the public universities to push their religion on their students. But pushing atheism on their students, well that's okay. And how do you push atheism on your students? You push atheism on your students by attacking religion. Atheism, militant atheism is founded on the idea that you're going to attack and go out and assault religion. That a world without religion would be better off. It's simply not a disagreement of religion, which is as pure atheism. A disagreement not believing. But an actual hatred towards religion, a desire to see it not exist anymore, have no influence, to be behind closed doors. That is militant atheism. And yes, they are dangerous. Now as for my videos, yes, my videos, Atheism are dangerous, is Dangerous, it was a direct response to a video called Religion is Dangerous, put forward by a militant atheist. Um, uh, my video on uh, the religious life was a response to a video from an atheist who said the atheist life and promoting that. Um, of course neither of these two individuals permitted me to post this as a counter video post so it just showed up on my blog. Therefore it didn't have context. Therefore I'm putting this forward here to further explain my position. I don't expect this to actually change much. And like I always say, this is my form, I will control it. But I figured I this warranted a second video to further explain. Thank you very much. Have yourself a good day and God bless.